I have never seen deception and corruption in any country on earth like what I am witnessing here in Guyana today. What the leaders and peoples in Africa and Asia is presently fighting with their life to get out of. Our leaders are on an express train pushing Guyana into. The people of our continent are once again bearing the cost of industrialization of the North and the development of the wealthy nations of the world. This is a price that the people of Africa are no longer prepared to pay. Many countries in the North count their assets in the mineral resources that are beneath the African soil. The wealth of Africa belongs to Africans. Despite its history, despite the legacy of exploitation, colonialism, and subjugation, Despite the ongoing challenge of conflict and instability, Africa is determined and ready to regain its position as a site of human progress. The era of African development has arrived. What some of those leaders did to their people and their countries is nothing compared to what these leaders are putting us through at the moment. You getting two mangoes that can't even fit in your teeth hole out of every hundred mangoes picked from every mango tree in your yard. And you, the owners, doing nothing and saying anything about that set of people who put us in that poverty and hunger trap. Why? Why are we the owners putting up with this bare-faced robbery? Now, you have another set of leaders who is even doing worse than that set who agree to two mangoes out of every hundred. Instead of changing things, this set is handing out more and more mango trees in a more dangerous fashion. Getting the same two mangoes from every tree that can't even fit or fill a tea towel in your children's mouth. On top of that, your livelihood, your future cannot even be secured from an oil spill. And this nation, all of you, are silent. Tell me to God Almighty, what more do I have to do and say to get you people, the Guyanese people, to wake up from that coma the politicians got you in?